watch, I, did you guys maybe look back at that Houston game and realize we can get out on the run more, we can we can make offense a little bit easier, push tempo, and uh, did, it, did it maybe start to set in with that game that, that it can work for you guys? Yeah, we just come out, we just came out trying to be aggressive and just push the ball more and just get more points in transition, basically. And how much better does that suit your game? How much more comfortable um, does it make you? A lot, just a lot, just get out in transition. But I, um, with him and Troy, Farad and Troy, just get out in transition and just run. Do you guys have more confidence? And growing in him now, knowing he's going to get out on that wing and give you guys an outlet and, a, and attack? Yeah, definitely. Uh, he's very good in the uh, open court. So uh, anytime we can get the ball to hit him and let him attack, I'm good for our offense. Octavius, um, after you know, at the Houston game, getting ejected out, did you just say tonight you're going to make it up and just play, play like a monster tonight? Yeah, I mean, the Houston fight, it was you know, yeah. all I didn't want him to get a layup, and I didn't know that I was gonna push him that hard. But <coughs> do, you, do you find yourself ha having to check yourself during a game and, and making sure you know you kind of I mean, keep that? I'm just an uh, intense guy like, all the time, so I just did a bonehead play at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. That's really what it was. <laughs> what did it mean something a little bit more for you to, to make sure that tonight? Yeah, there I mean, wasn't any of that. Yeah, I knew I knew what I should have did. I should have. I didn't want, like I said, I didn't want to give him a free layup, so I didn't. I couldn't get to him in time to block him. So I didn't push him. I didn't try to push him. Well, I didn't push him. He was a thin guy like me. You know, both of us probably the same size, lift the same amount of weight. He did. Say he, he's not Justin McBride. Yeah. He did. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like for you guys to get any kind of an easy, you know, less tension game after what you've been through recently? Oh, it felt good for us. Uh, we've been in some uh, tough games, and it's for us to get out early and kind of like coach through it. And, uh, our offense was going really well, so it felt a lot better today. Octavius, when I talked to you yesterday, you said if we could get off to a start like we do in the second half, we'd be really good. You did exactly that tonight. Yep, that's exactly what happened today. We came out with a lot of energy today. Like the second half, like I said, the second half, we came out like that today. Is that something you guys have talked about a lot? Is getting off to a better start? Yeah, Coach Taylor did all the time. Yeah. Why are we able to do that tonight? You think just shots started falling early and we got the momentum? Yeah, the yeah, momentum came real. Yeah. Shaq, what about you? Another double figure scoring night. Uh, you seem to be in the flow a little bit more when you get in transition. It, just the style of play helped you the last couple games? Yeah, yeah. i just been trying to uh, just be aggressive while I'm out there and just being attacking with at all times, basically. Right. You you met McBride on a like it might have been a pick and roll. Now how you how you feeling after that? Uh, that's actually what I try to do. Uh, whenever a uh, big guy from the hard blitz off the screen, you try to get into their body, draw draw a foul. What? So, <laughs> I had to take the hit. It was, it was a big hit. Yeah, that's a big hit. <laughs> so I had to blank a couple of times to make sure I, I knew who I was. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get the smell of foul so you were good. Man. What were you try, guys trying to do on offense? Um, seemed like you passed really well, like you did everything really well. Anything different, any different approach or anything? A little more transition or just can you put your finger on anything? It's probably just playing together as a team or just passing the ball and being more as a team because we got uh, good guards and good big men. So we just try to get out in transition. And in a half court, we just try to uh, pass the ball more and, and get everyone involved. That must feel really good after some of the games you've had and struggled to score so much. Yeah. 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 You guys one win away from 20. Uh, that has to put you feeling pretty good about at the NCAA tournament. Could you comment on that a little bit? What, what you need to do from here out and how that feels? Uh, yeah, we're, just, we're just taking uh, one game at a time. Uh, each game we're looking, we're looking at it as like a one game championship. So uh, uh, once we get uh, every win we get, does it feel good to maybe look ahead and see that you get that Tulane game again so quickly after what happened to, to go down there and, and hopefully give them a little payback? Uh, yes, definitely. We're looking forward to that game. Uh, we know they'll be ready. I've uh, been at their home and we feel like they took a game from us that we really needed, so we have to go down there and play and how we play today. Is it different because it's so fresh? Usually there's a month in between seeing somebody twice, but that was two weeks ago? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's better for us because we get to play them again faster. We 
race will happen the last time. Anything else? Thank you.